say that uh, Vince Elmore, who uh, you know, basically testified against her and made her look bad and put her on the hot seat instead of the police and basically gave them the clearance that, you know, the thin blue line and all that good stuff. Um, you know, the other day when I was arrested at the COAB meeting, Vince Elmore and Jakari Jackson, who are both COAB members, called me a racist. And they called me a racist because I called Jakari Jackson a fascist and a Nazi when he pulled the race card on me. And when I was trying to talk to Amanda Fritz, he, he interrupted me and I told him to shut up. And he said, really, you're gonna tell a black man to shut up? And I said, you're a cop. I was like, don't play that bullshit with me. And I was like, screw you, you little Nazi fascist pig. And so that's, uh, that's supposedly more proof that Keith Davis is a racist. Even though I'm friends with like Lorenzo Urban, who wrote Anarchism and the Black Revolution that goes way beyond the Black Panther philosophy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, you know, personally know Ramona Africa from Move and all kinds of other people. And I tried to actually uh, start a forceful protest where we went and stormed the podium when Tom Ridge was being inaugurated to be the governor of Pennsylvania. So I've been doing this stuff forever. I've exposed white supremacist organizations in the police department since the early 90s. I've published underground newspapers. So for me to be called a, a racist by, oh, because I called a, a black cop a Nazi or a fascist, or a, is that the type of gaslighting and bullshit manipulation that's going on at COAP. I mean, yes, both of those yeah, people, yes, it is. and yes, this, yeah. this whole thing is a big circle jerk of power, all, all intertwined with the Portland Business Alliance. You have the rabbi, all these various people that are all intertwined with the Portland Business Alliance. You have Charlie Hales. He, he uh, gets Marlon Kapua on the board. And then where is she? She's with the Portland Development Commission now. And they do stuff like evict all the homeless people under the Hawthorne Bridge, target the mentally ill, and then, then rent the land out and lease it from ODOT strictly to uh, quarantine the mentally ill and the homeless. So that, and that's the type of stuff that, oh, this great community leader Marlon, Dr. Marlon Kapua, yeah. I mean, so, you know, is, it, is, is this Can I touch the type her? of... Can I touch her? She's a professional. Yeah, she's a professional liar and a professional uh, parasite. Okay, like, so wait, I've, I'm asking, so I have a question wait, wait, for you. Wait, 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 I just want to ask him a question. John, but, uh, sorry, John. Keith? This yeah. is the type of stuff that's yeah, going on. Yeah. You know, Please. Please. This is the type of stuff that's going on Sean, when you Sean have Mark. this okay. interlacing, yeah, overlapping of the down. business community that war on I the like homeless, that, that do all this stuff, then they're going on to other... So, this whole thing needs to be totally restructured. We need to get people like Lisa Haynes on the board. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. People like Nancy, yeah. real community mm -hmm. members, yeah. not people I having agree. their yeah. resume, yeah. not yeah. people yeah. elected by the mayor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah. yeah. I agree with We that. need to really uh, make this a community yeah. thing, not a, not a corporate controlled yeah. business. Dartmouth, I mean, yeah. Rock, yeah. Long and yeah. Blossom, and right. okay. have links to Dartmouth. Right. So I'm going to ask a couple of things from you. Um, the comments and the insights 